Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another episode of Phrases and Sayings. So, I'm sure all of us at some point in time have been confronted with the term, there's no point in beating a dead horse. Or, yeah, you're beating a dead horse by saying that, or something like that. But, when I heard of this phrasing, I looked into the origins of it, which is kind of what I was aiming to do in the first place, because like I said, um, I think it was last episode that I'd like to like discuss like its origins along with my thoughts on the phrase at current point. But when I found, like, and it's no surprise on this one to me, but when I read deeper into like, what was going on, it was kind of sad, but I guess given the time era, it makes sense. For those who don't know, um, to beat a dead horse, that phrase, it comes from the mid-19th century, around that time era, because at that point in time, well, let's just put it this way, animal abuse wasn't exactly considered a thing yet. It was more accepting on some fronts. And this phrase, beat a dead horse, well, it was quite literal. To tame... Um, in the mid 19th century the way that like nowadays you see like horse races you would see people like whip the horses like tiny little you know whip like objects back then they would literally beat them to do it and no joke I'm not I'm, this is like no joke no trickery it actually was the case it's just because it was more accepted then. There was no rule saying, yeah, don't do that. I mean, if they did it nowadays, yeah, that, that uh, probably would be in huge trouble for it. But in the mid-19th century, it wasn't as big a deal. Thinking back, it's horrible. I mean, once again, we live in an era where animal abuse is kind of frowned upon. But back, I mean, so, I mean, for me who lives now, to look at back then, looking at individuals who didn't have that kind of mindset, and go, ugh, horrible, horrible, kind of to be expected. I don't know. I think it's horrible, but it makes sense, and I kind of, I mean, I'm going to accept it. But that's like the origin. What about the actual phrase? And how in any way does it relate? Well, the phrase itself is metaphorical. And I'm sure all of us have heard it at some point. When you beat a dead horse, you're basically talking about a topic that has been spoken to death. And you're still talking about it. It is literal, it's the verbal version of physically beating something to death. And since it cored at a point in time, it started, the phrase started at a point in time where horse, horses were literally being beat to go faster, the, that's where the phrase comes from. And just the, the, the fact of the matter, though, back to the, the actual phrase itself, you don't hear, or at least I don't hear people say it very often unless it gets too consistent. Like to an annoying, an annoying degree, um, but even then, sometimes I don't even say it. It's rare where I've heard that phrase come up, but it was one that was on you know a list that I have. I keep looking at, and I was like, you know what? I haven't heard that one in a while. Let's talk about it. So here we are. And as far as like the phrase itself goes, I guess it's. I think it's just taken lightly just because of the fact of its origins and it just didn't there are probably a lot of people out there who just don't really well receive the phrase either that or just unlike a lot of the other more upbeat optimistic phrases out there or the really well known ones this one I guess just doesn't touch base with a lot of people now this is this is not fact what I just said is not fact it's speculation um speculation based off of I guess the people I've been around in my life 
and there's a large number of that at this point. And I mean, the people I'm around now, for as long as I've known the people that I know at this current moment, combined, I have maybe heard the phrase twice. Not often. It's, it's, yeah. I mean, it's a commonly known phrase, but it's not known to be said a lot. I guess is the best way to phrase that if it needs to be rephrased into a different claim. However, as far as like the phrase itself goes, it suits as long as you're using it in a circumstance like what I said earlier where something's being discussed to the point where it's like, okay, yeah, move on. Otherwise, hmm, I guess, I don't remember this. I guess it's one of those things where, like, approach it, but don't use it a lot. The phrase is a response to nuisance, from what I've noticed. And use it too much, and you're the one who ends up becoming a nuisance. You're basically beating a dead horse at that point by saying the person's beating a dead horse. You're basically feeding insanity. Specifically, Einstein's definition of insanity. I don't know. I guess these are just my thoughts on a phrase that's hit or miss. But what are your thoughts? What do you guys think of this phrase? Ever heard anybody use it around you before or towards you? I guess questions to ponder. Respond to it if you'd like in the comments. Um, however, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you really like to consider subscribing to the channel. Want to check out any of the other phrases and sayings that have been t talked about on here before? Click the link on the side of my head. Um, it doesn't quite float in your boat, but you start to the end. First of all, thank you. But second of all, um, why not click the link on this side? You might be able to find something that you may enjoy a little bit more. But in the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning in the video, guys, and we hope to see all of you in another one. See you guys later.